Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm once again going to be sharing with you guys a bunch of affordable alternatives to popular luxury designer handbags. So this topic is a little bit of a series here on my channel. In the past, I used to do these videos that were brand specific. So I've done a video on Chanel, another one on Hermes, and then there's YSL, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, and on and on. And more recently, I've just done like general videos just talking about what's currently popular in the luxury designer bag market um, so I have a bunch of dupes to share with you guys I have dupes for 10 designer handbags some of which are actually requests from you guys and I will leave linked in the description box down below both the designer handbag as well as the dupe so you can check out more photos what colors are available and whatnot and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video so let's get into it Okay, so I first wanted to start with a bag that has been highly requested from you guys and for good reason because it is a very popular one and it is the Loewe Puzzle Bag. So they make this bag in a few sizes. It starts at $2,300 for the mini and it goes up to $3,950 for the large. And I really do love the architectural design of this bag and a lot of other people also love it too. And the leather is great and yeah, just everything about this bag is so innovative and different from other ones in the market but honestly for me the biggest drawback of this bag is really I don't find it to be the most convenient because there's the zipper opening and then there's this kind of flap that goes over it for me personally I'm not the biggest fan of zippered bags I much prefer flat bags because I find them a little bit more convenient to use so for the dupe that I found to the Loewe puzzle bag it actually is a flap style bag instead of the zippered one so the style of bag is not exactly the same but I really wanted to focus on that architectural element that is on the Loewe puzzle bag so for the dupe it is from this brand that I believe is pronounced Malloy and it is their Naomi bag so they do make this in two different sizes and the two sizes are slightly different in its construction so the smaller size which is I believe it's their newer model it's kind of like an updated version of their Naomi bag it is 495 US dollars and they do have a bunch of different compartments on the inside if that's something you like or if you prefer a bigger bag that has less compartments on the inside just one main compartment then they do have one that is 545 US dollars and another thing that I think is so similar between the Loewe puzzle bag as well as the dupe from Malloy is that both brands offer these bags in a range of color blocking options and it's not often that you find bag brands making their bags in anything but a solid color and even if they do they don't always do it right so I think that's something that is really unique to both of these brands and aside from the fact that these Malloy bags don't have the zippered opening it's a flap style opening instead it still has a lot of the same features as the puzzle bag like I mentioned it has that architectural feature and like the puzzle bag you do get a top handle as well as a crossbody strap and another really popular bag right now that I see all over social media is the Chloe Woody tote. Now as far as designer canvas tote bags go, this is probably one of the more affordable ones, but it still costs $850 for the mini, and then it goes up to $1,450 for the large. Now I'm not entirely sure if there's been a price increase recently. The prices that I just gave you guys are the prices on the official Chloe website but there are some other websites some legitimate websites that do have these bags for a lower price so in the description box down below I'll leave one website that has a bunch of these bags in different sizes and color combos at a lower price if you guys want to check that out so personally I had a bad experience with a designer canvas tote bag it was the Dior book tote and I don't have that bag anymore and I am kind of looking for another canvas tote bag but honestly I'm not entirely sure that I would go the designer route for this and pay designer prices because you know this bag is kind of like a simple design and I did consider getting the Chloe Woody tote for myself but I also think that this dupe which is from Tory Burch is a great alternative if you want to pay like less than half the price significantly less than half the price of the Chloe Woody tote so it's the Tory tote from Tory Burch as I mentioned so they do have two sizes the larger size is 398 US dollars and I would say it's 
In terms of sizing, it's probably in between the medium as well as the large woody tote. And it doesn't really have that much branding on it, unlike the Chloe one. You know, with the Chloe one, you have that ribbon on it that says Chloe all over, so it's really in your face. On the Tory Burch bag, yes, they have their logo on kind of like a bag charm, but you can hide that inside the bag if you want, or you can even take it off altogether. So it definitely isn't as loud. And another thing that I think is really nice as an addition on the dupe from Tory Burch is that it comes with an exterior pocket, which I think is great for, you know, some of the things that you want to have easier access to. And then there is also the smaller size, which is 298 US dollars. And I would say it's a little slightly bigger than the small size of the woody tote, but I would say that it's most comparable still to the small size because on the small Chloe Woody toe, you do have these two shorter handles and then an extra shoulder strap, which this Tory tote also has. So I think this is a great option. There's only two color options for either the smaller size or the larger size right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if they expanded on this, especially when we get closer to the summer. And the next two bags I want to talk about are both pouch-like clutches. So of course I had to mention the Bottega Veneta pouch, which is really the bag that kind of put Bottega back in the spotlight, put them back on the map again. And they've come out with this bag in so many different varieties and so many different versions. Of course they have this bag in a bunch of different colors and Bottega is known for having like these really unique, especially bright colors. And they also have it in both their smooth leather as well as their intrachado weaving. They even last year um, added a new size to their range, which is the teen size. So currently the bag starts at $2,300 for the mini size. And the mini size is actually the only size that comes with a shoulder strap. The teen size as well as kind of like the original oversized pouch, those two don't come with a strap. So the dupe is the cloud bag from Mansur Gabriel. Now this cloud bag is not completely the same shape. It does have a different curve to it on like the top part, the frame of the bag. But aside from that, it is still like this pouch-like shape. And of course, because that intrachado um, weaving is quite unique to Bottega, um, this is not available on the cloud bag. But if you don't want like a smooth leather option, they do have a pleated one. This cloud bag does come in two different sizes and both sizes does come with a removable shoulder strap. And it currently is $545 for the mini, which is similar to the mini um, pouch from Bottega. And then it's $695 for the regular size. And based on the dimensions, this is between the teen size and the original size for the pouch. And the other pouch bag on my list is the Fendi First. So this bag comes in three sizes and it starts at a price of $3,100 US dollars. So unlike the pouch bag, this one actually has an asymmetric shape to it. So at the top, we do have that F logo that's kind of at a slant, which gives it that asymmetric shape. And it does come with a strap, but it is a leather strap. And personally, I do think that this bag looks better with this chain strap that they sell separately. And that is an extra thousand dollars. So if you want that entire look, it actually will cost you over four thousand dollars for this bag. And personally, if I had a different lifestyle, I would totally get this bag because, you know, I feel like this is more of a special occasion bag for me. And I just don't have many events that I would specifically grab this bag over some of my other bags that are more versatile. And yeah, the price per wear just wouldn't be great for this bag. But like I said, if I had a different lifestyle, I would totally get this bag. Now the dupe is the Attico clutch. The smaller size is the Midnight clutch. And then the larger size, they call it their 8.30 p.m. clutch. So you get what I'm saying, right? Like this is obviously like a special occasion, not like your daily, like from day to night, where to work type of bag. And this bag is also that asymmetric shape. And the midnight one has a strap, which that's the smaller size. And then the 8.30 p.m., which is the larger size, does not have the strap. And like the Fendi bag, like the Fendi First, 
This comes in so many different color combos and it even has like different textures and whatnot too. So they make some that are satin and then there's embellished ones. But the thing is, the pricing really makes no sense to me. So I was so confused when I was looking at their website because I kind of thought that I had the sizes mixed up at first because the bigger bag, which is the 8.30 p.m. clutch, that one actually costs like half the price of the midnight clutch. So from what I see on their website, the larger size is 890 US dollars and then it's 1,800 for the midnight clutch, which is the smaller size. And like I mentioned, yes, the midnight clutch does have the shoulder strap, but you know, even if it does have the shoulder strap, it kind of at most just offsets the difference in size of the bag. It doesn't make sense why the smaller bag would cost like double the price, but still do check out this bag because even if you wanted the smaller size, it still does cost significantly less than the Fenny First. Now the Crescent Shape Hobo Bag is a style and shape of bag that really has been so popular recently and there is really no sign of that slowing down anytime soon. So for this video, I wanted to focus on one bag that's in this type of shape. Specifically, it's the LV Loop Bag. So this is kind of like LV's take on this bag and they do have both the loop as well as the loop hobo. So the regular loop bag is $2,370 and then the loop hobo is $2,780 and this is made in their monogram canvas and they do have like a few special ones but they do all have like the monogram pattern on it. And it does come with both a chain as well as a leather strap and they're both detachable and the leather strap is also adjustable and i really love the shape of this bag specifically like i mentioned there are a bunch of bags in this kind of crescent shape hobo style but i feel like not all of them get that curve at the bottom right so for the dupe i specifically wanted to focus on a bag that did have that similar curve to it and the dupe that i want to talk about is from polen now polen doesn't usually make their way onto these dupe videos even though I really love their brand and I think it's priced really well, even though they recently did have a price increase, I think they're priced really well. The quality is great and everything, but they don't really make their way onto these videos because their bags are like really unique. They're not really similar to any more expensive bags. The designs really are things that you can't find elsewhere. But since this type of crescent moon shaped bag is so kind of common, I wanted to talk about their number 10 bag as a dupe for the LV Loop. And similar to the LV Loop, the number 10 bag from Polen also comes in two versions. So they have the regular number 10, which is comparable to the LV Loop. And then they have a hobo version, which would be your alternative to the LV Loop hobo. And this is a great option, especially if you want something in leather instead of canvas especially if you don't want something that is monogrammed. And as I mentioned before, Polen did recently raise their prices. So here's the weird thing. So the regular number 10 is currently $460 and then the Hobo version is only $420, even though it's a bigger bag overall. So I kind of wonder if they didn't raise the price on the Hobo because if you look on their website, all the different color combos for the Hobo style is completely out of stock. So maybe they might be discontinuing it, but I did want to mention it for this video because they still do list it on their website. Another thing is because the LV loop bag does come in canvas, the hobo version of their loop bag is a little bit slouchier. You don't really get that with the number 10 hobo. Also, it doesn't come with a second chain strap, but at least the leather strap is adjustable. So the Givenchy Antigona bag is another bag that so many of you guys asked me to put in one of these videos and I can totally see why because this bag is basically a classic at this point. It's been around for so long and it still is a staple in so many people's collections. So currently it retails for $1,950 for the mini, 
2390 for the small and 2650 for the medium size and you can either carry it by the top handles or with the shoulder strap and i really like this bag because it is kind of understated there's no huge logos on it and there's actually not too much hardware on it either now for the dupe of this bag i do have two dupes to talk about one which is a dupe of the ones that are available right now and then i also wanted to mention this dupe for a version of the antigona bag that used to be in production for a little bit it actually was one of their like newer models but for some reason they discontinued it like shortly after it was first released so firstly the dupe for the antigona bag with like the top handles as well as the shoulder strap this alternative is from michael kors it's their cleo bag and it comes in two sizes so there's the small and medium size and right now they are heavily discounted on the Michael Kors website. Like I'm talking about over 50% off and currently both sizes are under $200. And what I really like about the Michael Kors Cleo bag is it fixes a few of the complaints that people have about the Givenchy Antigona. So a common complaint people have is that the zipper doesn't open that wide and you basically end up scratching your hands as well as your jewelry, as well as your SOGs when you're going in and out of the bag. So for the Cleo bag from Michael Kors, the zipper actually extends further than the bag itself. So it opens wider and it makes it easier to get things in and out. But those extra bits of the zipper don't just kind of like hang there. There are these little loops on the two sides of the bag that you can tuck the ends of the zipper in so it doesn't end up looking messy. And the other complaint that people have about the Shimoshi Antigona is because the handles don't fold down, they're a little bit cumbersome and with the Clio bag from Michael Kors, those handles are actually attached to D-rings so they do fold down which is a nice added plus. And aside from those two differences in the details, these two bags really look so similar and if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the Givenchy Antigona, it really doesn't get more affordable than this because the Clio bag is like 10% of the price of the Antigona right now. But if you're looking for an alternative to the Nano Antigona from Givenchy, which I believe that size is now discontinued, um, it, it's basically like the mini crossbody version of the Givenchy Antigona that doesn't have the two top handles. So if you're looking for that Antigona shape, but you want it to be a little bit more casual, then take a look at this dupe, which is from Ula Johnson, and it's their Imogen bag. And similar to the Nano Antigona, this bag also comes with the crossbody strap but no top handles on it even though it does have the same shape of like the body of the Antigona bag and this bag is just under $500 full price but there are some color combos that are on sale right now for under $200. Now a very classic top handle bag is the Louis Vuitton Capucines bag and this is probably Louis Vuitton's most famous bag that is strictly made in leather and not canvas but the prices are a little bit hard stopping because it goes up to like even $10,000 and over for the really special editions and even like your normal kind of like plain Jane Capucines bag is like $6,000 or so which is pretty expensive when you compare it to the other offerings from Louis Vuitton and I do think this bag looks nice but when you compare the price to the price of other top handle bags from say Fendi or Chanel or Dior this just doesn't really seem worth it so of course I do have a dupe to share with you guys and it once again is from Michael Kors it is their Carly bag and the Louis Vuitton Capucines does have that LV logo on the front of the bag for the Michael Kors one is says MK instead. It does also have that flap opening as well as the top handle and the crossbody strap but on the inside whereas the Capucines has the two compartments the Michael Kors one only has one main compartment and in a way that's actually a good thing. It's a good positive design change because sometimes I find when bags have too many compartments especially if it's a mini size it just lessens the capacity so much i much rather have one main compartment and i can kind of like sort my items in pouches or whatnot however i want and similar to the cleo bag that i mentioned was a dupe for the antigona 
This bag is also heavily discounted right now, also over 50% off. It's around $250 for the medium size and around $200 for the small size. Now you're not going to find this Carly bag from Michael Kors in nearly as many colors as you can find the Capucines in, but it still does come in your staple neutral colors. And while the Louis Vuitton bag doesn't come in canvas, if you want the Michael Kors monogram canvas, you can find the Carly in their canvas option too. And next, I want to share a dupe for the Chanel Duma backpack. Now, this backpack is not only one of the most popular backpacks at Chanel, but even in terms of luxury designer backpacks in general, this is a really popular one because it does look a little bit more feminine, whereas your typical backpack on the market does have a little bit more of a masculine look to it. So this is really unique and it also does come with a lot of your typical design features on a Chanel bag. So for example, it comes with the quilted leather, it has the chain as well as the turn lock. It also has adjustable shoulder straps as well as a little handle for you to carry it with. It has that pouch like pocket on the front as well as this flap that opens up to the main compartment. So the dupe that I found for this backpack has a lot of those same features. The only one that I think it's missing is that drawstring for you to cinch the opening of the bag a little bit, but it does have that flap. So it still is secure. It's not like completely open. So it is the Kate Spade Evelyn quilted backpack and it is quilted, but it's not that diamond quilting. It's kind of more rectangular shaped in a way and the front pouch pocket is zipped instead of um, with the flap opening like the Chanel one. And I just think if you're not the type to use backpacks a whole lot, or if you intend on using like a backpack to, for example, like an amusement park or something like that, you might not want to have a Chanel one. But if you want that same kind of like Chanel look, then this is a great one. And it does currently come in two colors, a black one as well as an ivory one with a tan trim to it. And both of them are 420 28 US dollars. And we're back to talking about Loewe. This time it's their hammock bag, which is another one of Loewe's bags that has been around for quite a long time. And for this video specifically, I'm just talking about the version of the hammock bag that has the zippers on the side, not the ones with the drawstring feature. And this specific one is just under $3,000 retail. So what's really unique about this bag is there's multiple ways you can carry it. You can carry it by the top handles or the shoulder strap. You can have the sides of the bag folded in or leave it facing outwards and you can also either zip up the two zippers or unzip them but there's kind of two ways that I feel like people usually carry this bag which is with those side pieces folded in and either holding it by the two handles or the shoulder strap and for the dupe that I'm going to share with you guys for this bag, it really has the same look as the hammock bag would have when you're carrying it those two specific ways. So this dupe is the Boy Wonton bag, and I've actually mentioned this as a dupe for the Hermes Lindy in a previous video that was specifically focused on Hermes dupes. But the hammock bag and the Lindy do look quite similar, so I wanted to mention it as a dupe once again for the hammock bag from Loewe. And I gotta say, even though I appreciate the hammock bag for how unique it is with the different ways you can carry it, I do think that makes the bag quite fussy, whereas the Boy Wonton bag is a lot more streamlined, you know, there's not so many different parts to it, and it just has these two flaps that close with magnets to secure the bag. And I really love that hardware detail on the handle of the Boy Wonton bag. And you can even kind of like unscrew it to interlock the handles. I think that's just a nice, like kind of different look to it. And the Boy Wonton bag does come in two sizes. So the 20 centimeter size is 1,250 and the 25 centimeter size is 1,350. And the last bag I have on my list for today's video is the Hermes Pickleton, which is one of Hermes's most popular non-quota bags, partially because the price is pretty decent for this bag. It starts at around 3,000 US dollars, which 
Yes, of course, it's not cheap by any means, but when you compare it to the prices of many Hermes items, it's actually kind of okay. And the reason I think it is priced so fairly is because it's a pretty simple bucket bag design. There's not too many pieces to it. There is not a lot of work that needs to be done to construct this bag, which all factors into the price of this bag. And the way that this is designed is for it to be strictly a handheld bag with the two handles. But I have seen people attach a shoulder strap to the two handles and carry it as either a shoulder bag or crossbody. So the dupe that I found for the Pickleton is also from the brand Boy. It is their Lotus bag and it comes in three sizes. The smallest size is $795 US dollars and the largest size is $1,350. So this bag is also a very similar streamlined bucket bag design whereas the Pickleton you do get that lock at the front that kind of secures the top of the bag in a way. With this Boy Lotus Lotus bag, you do have that same ability to interlock the handles as you get on the wonton bag that I mentioned in the previous dupe. So that also kind of somewhat but not really secures the top of the bag. But either way, it's a nice design feature. And a bonus that you get with the Lotus bag is it does come with a shoulder strap, which the Pickleton doesn't come with. So that is it for this video on affordable alternatives to popular luxury designer handbags. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And as I mentioned, this is kind of a series here on my channel and I definitely will be doing many more of these videos. So if you have any handbags that you would like me to talk about dupes for, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.